So yeah, there's no... It's amazing. And, and you know, we, we've seen this with genetically modified crops. Right. When they, the, the French study where they showed the massive tumors on the rats, so it very, uh, just an amazing picture. And yet they pushed back on that and they said, you picked a strain of rats that are prone to tumors and you didn't, uh, what was it? The number, the number right. of them, right? And it turns out that Monsanto used exactly the same strain of rats and the exactly the same number of rats, but Monsanto didn't run the study very long. Monsanto right, cut off a, like one or two, three months or something exactly. like that. These people ran it for about a year. Two years. And, two years, yeah. And the, and the rats break out in these massive tumors. This is the way they can skew these things to get whatever results they want. We heard that, it, we heard that pushback, but we didn't hear what the actual study was that proved to the FDA's satisfaction that it was safe. Exactly, and it was Monsanto's yeah. study. Yes, exactly. So, no so they do their own study. Arms reach. <laughs> exactly. Study there. It's a very scary thing when we look at this. And, and you know, sometimes we have people will contact us and say, what, what's the big deal? We've been genetically modifying animals for quite some time. Well, it is a very big deal because that's not, when you selectively breed animals, mm -hmm. That is not the same thing as transgenic genetic modification, which is what they're doing. You can go in and you, you can selectively breed animals, and we've seen that happen with livestock. We've seen that happen with dogs. And you can get quite a bit of variation mm -hmm. just by selective breeding within the DNA. You can then also go into what's called uh, cisgenic uh, genetic modification. You can actually directly modify the DNA of these animals, and that's kind of dodgy okay mm -hmm. that's that's got a lot of question marks about that but the transgenic is when you take dna from completely different organisms that you would take never breed normally. yeah you take some dna from a plant and you put it into an animal mm -hmm. or you know you you cross this with that and and uh the, you know the spiders with the goat's milk exactly you, you get crazy <laughs> that's when you get your frankenstein animals your right. franken food and that's really where we don't know where this is happening and yet what is the fda's concern the FDA's concern is to shut down heritage farmers, to shut down organic farmers, to curtail farming practices that have fed humans for millennia. Right. They want to shut that down, put all of our eggs in one basket, this new frankenfood, genetically modified, corporate, uh, factory-produced fertilizer stuff. That, that's where they want all of our eggs to be in that one thing. That's a very, very dangerous thing. It's very dangerous, and it kind of falls into the whole eugenics plan because we see with the with the rat studies, genetically modified foods makes genera, the third generation, they're mm -hmm. sterile. They mm -hmm. can no longer reproduce. And so this is happening with humans. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting here messing now with the human genome, what is to say that you're not creating a totally different species of human in a generation from now or sterile humans that can no longer reproduce. And who's to say that that isn't their real agenda, bottom line, anyway? Alex has pointed that out over and over again, that that's what many of them have been saying for a long time is exactly their agenda to do a soft kill, to do a sterilization, mm -hmm. to do a population culling. You've got, uh, they, they openly talk about it the people who are in charge of the media, the people who've set up these Georgia Guidestones, the, the, mm -hmm. the Ted Turners, that they desperately, desperately want to get rid of most, if not all the humans. I mean, you have right. this, this whole Gaia movement that was absolutely crazy that saw human beings as a virus on the planet that had to be stamped out. That's really what I think is behind this. And I think a lot of these scientists do know what they're doing. I don't, again, you know, we, we talk about, is it a question of incompetence? And mistakes, or is it just outright evil mm -hmm. what they're doing? And, you know, when they say that they're going to call the population and then you have them doing things that are going to result in sterilization in a couple of generations that we've seen happen over and over again in animal studies, maybe that's just their plan. Right. It's a, a safe and effective way to slow kill. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You want to take a, a call on small farmers? We've got uh, Casey in South Carolina. He's been on the phone for a while. Casey, what do you think about this? Hi, David. Hi, Leanne. How are you two today? Hello. Doing good. How are you? Doing real well. I'm kind of concerned specifically about Codex Alimentarius and how it plays in exactly to what you were just talking about with the culling of the population. I also feel it ties in with Obamacare and food rationing. Mm -hmm. Any well, thoughts on that from you all? Oh, absolutely. As we were talking, when I was talking to Paul Joseph Watson, 
he pointed out that they can see this stuff coming. They, they know and they, they see that there's a food shortage coming. They see food prices spiking. We have that happening in the United States now. They know that when, that is, when, when food is becoming scarce, they know that there's going to be civil unrest that's going to follow as a result. I think it is all part of their plan. I think that they are, they're definitely, they're doing things that absolutely make no sense. Mm -hmm. And so you have to say they, they can't really be that stupid, especially when they've got documents saying that their plan is to call the population. Their plan is to cut back the food supply. When you start seeing this stuff happening, it's, it's not necessarily incompetence. Right, and they've, been, they've had these plans for hundreds of years. So they've got their bloodlines or whatever, have no problem continuing to carry on this reality that they see for themselves, you know, the yeah. singularity. Yeah, the guy who came up with the term genocide pointed out the four steps that happened in the Ukraine. I mentioned it before. Cut out the political leadership, co-opt the churches, bring in massive immigration, and cut off their food. We've seen this happen over and over again. It's a pattern for control, a pattern for tyranny, and it's been executed very well by Stalin, and now it's starting to come around to us. We'll be right back, stay tuned. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Freeze Dry Guy. Thomas, talk about customer service at GCN. GCN is extraordinary in how they take care of their customers. The bottom line, Freeze Dry Guy keeps advertising on GCN because it works. If you'd like to experience unbelievable customer service, call Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. I'm joined here in the studio with Leanne McAdoo, also of the Nightly News. And we were just talking before the break about fluoride. We we're talking about genetic modification, the attack on the family farms. You know, ultimately, ultimately, you're responsible for yourself and for your family. You have to do things to take care of your health, to take care of your family's health. And Take a look at the products. So we've got at InfoWarsLife.com. It's a win-win situation. It's how we support this operation here. 
is how you can help your family do something good for yourself, do something good for your family, and help the operation here. We've got water filters to get the fluoride out. We've got heritage seeds. We've got iodine, survival shield. We've got uh, all kinds of products there, as well as some T-shirts where you can help spread the news. And yes. Leanne has been uh, modeling the <laughs> Mulan Lave T-shirt, and uh, we got a nice design for that, both a male and a female cut design. We've got a ladies' shirt there. And it's a good way to get the message out about the fact that we have a right to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have a right to feed ourselves. We have a right to defend ourselves. And so we hope that you will take a look at those when you're thinking about how you're going to make yourself self-reliant. We have a lot of products there, and that would help the operation if you go to InfoWarsLife.com and uh, look at our store there. How about that T-shirt? You like that T-shirt? I do. I, I helped them. They were kind of going back and forth between doing the gold gold foil for the females, and I gave it a thumbs up. Makes it it's a great design. Looks pretty sharp with the Spartan helmets, a little sparkly. It is a great design, <laughs> and you know, it, it's a reminder that nobody ever gives you your freedom. The Spartans had to fight for it. The Texans had to fight for it, as Alex pointed out to Piers Morgan, the former host at CNN, <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, you know, it wasn't a Mexican-American thing at the Alamo. Pretty much every Mexican uh, territory rebelled against Santa Ana. He was a tyrant. He had thrown out the Constitution. He was rewriting the laws. He was doing whatever he wanted to, like somebody else I know that's in power right now. <laughs> and three of those seven uh, areas that rebelled against Santa Ana, three of them created governments of their own. Texas was one of them. Texas was the only one that got its independence, but it was Americans, it was Hispanic people, people who had immigrated in from America. They fought side by side to end tyranny. And, you know, I think it's kind of interesting that you've got this vigilante group uh, down in Mexico now taking back their area from the corrupt police, the corrupt federales, and the drug lords that were working with the federal government down there. I think it's ultimately, it comes down to you've got to be able to provide for your own defense. And that's what the people down there in that Mexican province are doing right now, that exactly. vigilante group. They're taking it back from that drug group called the Knights Templar. Mm -hmm. But you were just telling me in the break that uh, Leanne and the InfoWars crew were down at City Hall today, and they were talking about fluoride, and so we were there to give them our perspective on it. We still have crew that's down there, and you'll be able to catch that on the nightly news, but you were saying that they were talking about urban forests. Tell us about this one. Right. Well, that's why, you know, it is so important for people to go to these City Hall meetings, to go voice your opinion. I mean, even if you just walk in and go on the little computer and vote to put your opinion that you're for or against something, mm -hmm. it's so important because these people are sitting down there today working on their Agenda 21 master yeah. plan. So yeah. they're down there today. We're just, we were befuddled. It's their Imagine Austin plan. And they were talking about urban forestry, which is great. You know, I love trees downtown. Mm -hmm. But one of the sna snafus they had was trees on private property. How do we How take over that? Take the private property yeah. for their urban oh, forest. See, there isn't any private property. There isn't any privacy. Hang on, I've got a couple of callers that have been waiting for a long time, and I'm going to come back right after the break, and we're going to talk to them. They've been waiting for quite a while to talk, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.